Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to load a custom ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Gear Watch. Okay, first, this only works on Windows uh, just because Odin, which is the program we're going to use, the Flash, only works on Windows. Um, then, you need to root your Galaxy Gear first, so click on the link that's uh, under Section 2 in Step 1. Do that entire procedure, it's not that hard, I promise. Uh, we even have a video for you. Then come back to this one to continue. Then we're going to download the recovery image by clicking on that link there, scrolling down, and you'll see in the first post there's a download for SourceForge. Click that, wait it for the four seconds, five seconds that it needs you to wait, and save that to your desktop. While that's downloading, we're going to download Odin as well, which is the program we're going to use to flash, so click on that link, and save that as well to your desktop. Then we can right-click the Odin folder once that's done and hit Extract All. Hit Extract. And double-click the .exe file, hit Yes, to open that up. Then we're going to put it into download mode by holding down the power button. And keep holding it until rebooting comes up on the screen, then we'll let go. And as soon as we let go, we're going to tap the power button five times. And it should give us this screen. We'll tap the power button once more to get to download. And then tap and hold it for three seconds. And let go. And it should put you into download mode. When that happens, we can put it into our little charging case thing. And plug it into the computer by USB. Then we're going to click on AP. and go to our desktop and select the recovery file which is right here hit open then you're going to uncheck auto reboot and click start for that to begin flashing then we're going to download the rom file by clicking on that link there scrolling down and you'll see sourceforge in the first post and wait for it to allow you to download in five seconds and click save to your desktop. And then we're going to open mobile share back up while the device is still plugged in after that is flashed. Um, we're going to click on files underneath our device's name over here on the left and click add. Now we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to choose the ROM file uh, which is a .zip file. Do not extract it, leave it as a .zip and hit open while we've selected SD card. So now it's going to transfer that file to the root of our SD card. So wait for that to finish. Okay, then we're going to unplug the Galaxy Gear. Take it out of its little holster thing. And we're going to hold down the power button and keep holding it down until we get the rebooting screen. Like so. And we're going to keep tapping the power button to get to this screen. And we're going to tap the power button a couple of times to get to recovery. Tap and hold it for three seconds and let go to hopefully select recovery. And now we should be in our custom recovery. We're going to click install. I can click it and scroll down to find our ROM file. There we go. And wait for it to flash. And then it will actually prompt you to continue things, so you're going to say next. Uh, you can go through here and select the files that you want. You probably want the G apps, which is the Google apps. Turn that on. It can't be on by default, um, otherwise the developers get in trouble. So you have to turn that on. Uh, maybe as File Explorer, perhaps. Email people might be cool, etc. Whatever. You go through this, pick what you want, and hit next, and then hit next. Then uh, go through this and decide how you want this to be. Uh, you can kind of do home button remap. You can change if you want the full thing with status bar, notification panel, etc. Again, these are going to be up to you. Next, and hit next. And then see what Samsung apps you want to install. Again, totally up to you. We're just going to leave it on full. And install now. Now wait for this to finish flashing. Eventually, we'll tell you it's done. You're going to hit next. 
and reboot now, next, and wait for it to reboot. And once it reboots, uh, you can tap Nova Launcher and hit Always and you'll get this home screen now instead of your other one. You can add widgets to the screen just like you would any other Android device. Um, it has a lot of awesome features. Uh, if you want a full list, please check out the link underneath this video on our site for all of the features that the developer added into this, including... And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.